No Man's Sky, Elite Dangerous and Star Wars Squadrons. These are space games we all know can be played in VR. But in this video we are going to dive into some space games that aren't as popular but are definitely worth checking out. And first we start off with a very hardcore one. Re-entry, a space flight simulator. This game is a highly realistic space flight simulator based on real life spacecraft. You create a new astronaut and gain levels and experience for every move you make by completing missions in space. Now the missions are modeled after historical space missions or are fictional challenges designed to test your skills as an astronaut. Re-entry is still in early access and while the Steam page notes that VR is not officially supported yet, there is an experimental slash alpha setting that allows you to play the game in virtual reality. Now although the VR experience is still being refined, users have reported a sense of well, pretty damn good immersion in the capsule, particularly in the Apollo missions. However, this mode is quite resource intensive and players have noted that it can strain even high-end systems. But if you are into highly detailed simulations, you like a challenge, you have a VR headset around and a good computer, well, this is definitely worth checking out. Now next up is In The Black. At its core, this game is an intense, multiplayer, team-based, online space combat flight simulator, hello! The developers are focusing on creating a skill-based, rewarding combat experience and although the Steam page again does not mention VR support, the developers have hinted that they are working on something special for VR. Given the developers' passion for hardcore gaming, VR support could potentially make this a highly immersive space combat experience once implemented. As it's still upcoming, you can now only wishlist it on Steam to stay updated. Now many of us have heard about the next title, Outer Wilds. But did you know that there is a VR mod called No My VR that transforms this game into an incredibly immersive experience? I have played it, it's fantastic. This mod allows full motion controller support, making the game fully playable in VR. And the modders have done an exceptional job ensuring that the game's intricate storytelling and exploration feels very natural in VR. And despite the game not originally being designed with VR in mind, it's, yeah, man, it's, it's absolutely fantastic what they have done. The sense of skill and the vastness of space are fantastic, making the already mysterious and atmospheric world of Outer Wilds even more captivating. However, be prepared for an intense experience though. It's recommended that you have a strong VR stomach because you will flip upside down in your spaceship and, and I, I don't know what not. You have to walk around on these planets. But again, it's absolutely fantastic. Sometimes the Outer Wilds is on sale for just 13 bucks. I would say if you like storytelling games, if you like space games, it's an absolutely must buy this one. Now a quick word from our sponsor. If you struggle to read indicators or normally wear glasses, but you know, not in VR, I highly recommend trying out the latest prescription lenses from vrwave.store. They prevent damage to the VR lenses because you don't have to wear glasses, which I was always worried about, and it will reduce eye strain with a blue light filter. So I don't want to sound like a billboard, but I really wish I had done this sooner. So if you're interested, visit vrwave.store. Now the next one might ring a bell for some of us, but many VR gamers out there haven't heard of House of the Dying Sun. This game is a tactical space shooter that delivers a blend of fast-paced combat and strategic depth. It's set in the vast expanse of space and you pilot the most feared starfighter in the galaxy tasked with hunting down and annihilating the enemies of the dying empire. The game is really immersing you in intense dogfights where every mission demands both quick reflexes and careful planning and the visuals are, are really good. I think especially like the background and everything, it, it's really beautiful and the, the ships are well designed and the environments again, they pull you into that deeper VR experience. And while the game may not be as lengthy as some other titles, it, it's pretty short. 
it more than makes up for it with its focused high intensity gameplay. Each mission is crafted to challenge your skills, whether you are engaging in all out space battles or executing a precise tactical maneuvers. The controls are good, responsive, um, it's all very satisfying. In VR, House of the Dying Sun truly shines, I would say, offering a level of immersion that makes you feel like you're uh, yeah, I, I would say it would make you feel like you are in the cockpit of a starfighter. Now if you haven't heard about this title, go over to Steam, read about it. There is a lot of content out there on YouTube and who knows, perhaps this is one of those hidden gems that you are going to absolutely love. Now the next game I really, really love. This is Tin Can. And in Tin Can, you are thrown into a dire situation aboard a spaceship on the brink of destruction with your only hope of survival being an old, unreliable escape pod. And as you hurtle through space in this unreliable escape pod, you are left to figure out the pod's complex systems, using a very technical manual and your own resourcefulness. The game, released on May 12th, was originally designed to offer a very deeply immersive experience, especially for VR. The VR version is still in beta, but already offers a very incredible and fun experience. However, despite the game's potential in my eyes, the developers had to cease further development due to financial constraints. Very unfortunate, I would say, as many others with me were very excited to see the full vision of the game come to life. Even so, the game remains fully playable in VR's sandbox mode, allowing you to continue experiencing the challenges of survival in deep space in VR, but it doesn't offer the campaign in VR. Very unfortunate. Now, despite the financial challenges that halted further development, this game continues to stand out as a very compelling VR experience in my opinion, especially if this game is ever on discount, I would say, I would give it a shot. I would give it a shot. As for the last one, and I have covered this in another video, we have Space Trucker VR. This is like Euro Truck Simulator, but instead of driving across Europe, you are navigating the vastness of space. That's what it's all about. The game stands out for its really attention to detail in simulating the operations of a cargo spaceship. Players must manage complex systems, including starting the spaceship with a series of controls, communicating with spaceports, and planning and executing high-speed flights across the solar system. It reminds me a little bit of VTOL VR, I mean the controls that is. I mean you have to really start up uh, the whole spaceship, it works well, the controllers work well, the physics work well. And yeah, it's very rewarding just, you know, getting a spaceship to start and fly out safely. This game is designed exclusively for VR, and while it's not out yet, it's in early development. It's well, it's still in development, but there is a demo currently available on Steam, so you can just try it out. Early feedback from the community has been overwhelmingly positive, with many players just doing the demo over and over and over again. So this really says a lot about this game. Uh, I think Space Trucker VR is a must try for fans of simulation games and those looking for a deep immersive VR Euro Truck Simulator like experience. Now there are two more games that I quickly want to mention. The first one is Intersolar 83. You can play the demo right now on Steam. They recently have done an amazing update, a full graphic overhaul with some extra features. Um, pretty much put on your helmet, your space helmet, fire up your star drive and you just go into space. Definitely worth checking out. You can just find this game Intersolar 83 on Steam. And for the very, very, very last game on this list, I have included Pulsar Lost Colony. Don't forget that this game can be fully played in VR with motion controllers. And why I noted this game here on this list is that many people forget about this game. It's an actual good game. And the fun thing is that you can play this game fully in co-op with four other friends who are also in VR. So you can really have that immersive experience all together controlling a spaceship 
occupying different roles within that spaceship and just do a full campaign. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. If I had more time, I would definitely play this game more often. Now let me know in the comments down below which space games, VR space games, should be on this list. And I don't want to hear anything about No Man's Sky, Elite Dangerous or Star Wars Squadrons. Yes, I know you can play these in VR, everyone knows that. What I want to know are hidden VR space gems that I haven't played yet, that I haven't heard about, but that you have played and you think deserve a spot on this list. Now I hope by giving you this list of VR space games, you might find something new that you like. For now, I will wrap it up and as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.